Let's take you to Ennerdale now, where uh, rescue workers are continuing the search for survivors after a landfill site collapsed on waste pickers. The site caved in while waste pickers were looking for recyclable material. The body was retrieved on Friday, and it's not yet clear how many more are still missing. Our reporter Heidi Jokos is there and joins us now live. Heidi, um, we believe you're standing with one of the survivors who was rescued not so long ago. It is still, by the sounds of it, an active search site. Um, uh, uh, what have you heard there on the ground? Yes, so, so what we do understand is that emergency services here in the city of Johannesburg uh, were supposed to resume their uh, search operations uh, this morning, but uh, we do understand that for now search operations have not continued for today, and the reason for this is because they are still trying to establish how many people are unaccounted for. There are mixed uh, messages coming through about uh, how many people are still unaccounted for, the fact that some waste pickers have indicated that uh, the those that they were um, um, busy with uh, up this landfill fill, um, have actually been accounted for. So I think emergency services are just trying to get uh, more uh, of a sense from uh, the councillor here and uh, more waste pickers to try and establish whether or not they should continue with their operations. Uh, sorry, there are many flies here, so <laughs> I'm going to be doing quite a lot of this. But we are joined by one of the um, waste pickers that is going to give us an account of of uh, what he understands to have happened. He's asked for us not to uh, show his face, so we'll respect that. Uh, thank you for your time, Spamandla. Maybe just tell us, you were here on Friday. Um, you were busy uh, waste picking here and looking for material. Yeah. Tell us what, what happened. Mm, no, we were working there on the side ne, where the incident happened, but it's uh, going uh, Maybe within 45 minutes, we slow seven, uh, then in Taba, it, just the yawa nje so how many people were you with did you see um people you know being being sucked into the landfill or all the people that you were with did they come out mm, no about it i'm not sure because like me and baby those were close to me they were about to go to the long kulmana but but they were able to go to the lawyer pezul then lava banya they were on the other side uh, I never saw them all go to Yes. So all the people that you were with, you left with, you didn't see anybody else, just except that one lady that lost her life. Yes. Uh, uh, by the time I mountain I saw uh, one of the ladies very avala in mountain, but I heard that she's also the one that uh, I'm told the line mm. yes. uh, Do you fear for your life here? Because it's obviously a concern. It seems as though. Uh, this landfill uh, is quite dangerous. Yeah, well, no, it's quite dangerous, but uh, there's nothing we can do. Uh, that's where we survive. Not just summer corn, we just swallow something, which is less daily. And Abantu and Abawa just go and carry. Yes. Um, is this the first time something like this has happened? Uh, for 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 my side, I just saw it. The Yenze Okala Valley. It was the first time for me mm -hmm. to see it the dropping. Yes. So I know you say there's nothing you can do because you you know you need to make a living and you need to provide for your children. But yes. what what um, uh, do you, are you scared this happens? Do you want authorities to do something about it? Because this looks quite dangerous, and authorities are saying that it could get worse because as you guys keep digging, um, the landfill keeps sinking in. Yes, uh, but uh, no, it's about to go to Tina. We can't take a decision on this landfill because now we found it like this, so. We saw what you know, that's where maybe we can make something. That's why now, since I want to recycling, just to put in at this mm -hmm. Yes. And just lastly, Sipamandla, so you saying the people that you were with on Friday, they all accounted for it's just that one lady that lost her life from your understanding what you saw on Friday? Yes, the young Jitongi Boni, that lady in Jimvala, then other, other people, like, I'm not sure about the other people on the other side because. Yeah. I never saw them all who were they, Bebazo, Gwenzagalan, but I know which is Sonke Silana, we're doing the same job. Okay. Uh, yes. Thanks so much, Pamandla. We do appreciate you speaking to us. Um, so that's one of the waste pickers here, uh, Marcel, that just gave an account of what he saw uh, happened on. Um, 
uh, on Friday and as you heard him saying that uh, he just knows of the one lady that uh, unfortunately lost her life here, also a waste picker. Um, and uh, we will just have to wait from authorities to see exactly what happens uh, and what comes out of this. But we, we do know that for now there is no operation currently underway. And maybe I can just ask my colleague, uh, Jewel Matlala, to just show you that this is the actual landfill and um, it seems as though there are parts of it that are caving in and this has obviously got to do with the fact that waste pickers come in here and they start digging uh, whatever they need, whatever material that they want to take out uh, and this obviously affects the landscape of the landfill and this is why it seems to have uh, been caving in. I must say very brave of them to want to go yeah. up there because it looks rather scary but uh, it seems as though this is their only survival and as you mm -hmm. heard Sipamandla saying that this is how they survive, they have no other option but uh, to get in here and pick whatever material they can so that they can survive. Indeed, just another example of what um, people in this country need to do to try and keep food on the table. Thank you so much for that update, Heidi Jockers. Reporting to us live there, as you can see, those live pictures coming to you from um, uh, that uh, dumping site, landfill rather, in Edinadale uh, that collapsed on Friday. One person um, uh, died, um, but as you heard there from Heidi, no search operation underway as we speak. So we're not entirely sure what the situation there is going to be uh, going forward.